December to remember. Isaiah 49. Thank you. God bless you. Isaiah 49 verse 15 to 16. Can a woman forget her suckling child? That she should not have compassion on the son of her womb. Yea, they may forget. Yet will I not forget thee. Behold, I have graven thee upon the palms of my hands. Thy walls are continually before me. We serve a God who does not forsake his people. We serve a God who does not forget his own. He will always show up in moment we least expect. And the scripture said, better is the end of a matter than the beginning thereof. I came to let somebody know that God will show up on your behalf tonight. Even in this 12th hour, this 12th month, this end of the year, God will show up on your behalf in the name of Jesus. Amen. One truth about life is human beings have the grace to forget. They forget the good you do to them. They forget the kindness you show to them. Man is full of forgetfulness. That's why the Bible asks, can a woman forget her suckling child? Even if she does, God said, I will never, never, never forget you. I will show up on your behalf. I will reveal my glory. Any day you trust man, you crash. Because man does not have the power to remember you except God activate remembrance. Remember what Joseph told the burglar in Genesis chapter 40 and verse 23. When you go mention me before Pharaoh. Verse 23 of Genesis for the film. Yet did not the buckler remember Joseph. They forgot him. The buckler did not remember Joseph. He forgot him. Man has a way of forgetting us. Man has a way of not remembering the good you have done for them. If you look up to man, you will end frustrated. If you look up to man for reward, you will end frustrated. Can I talk to you, sir? Talk to me, sir. In the book of 1 Samuel, you see that David met men that were out of luck. Whom society have abandoned. They were in debt. Cargoes of human beings. The Bible said they were about 500, 500, 5,000. Came and joined themselves to David. And David became a human developer. He developed these men to giants and they became warriors and fighters. David turned their failures to generals in military warfare. They became guerrilla fighters. They became infantry. They were tactical in warfare. They were skillful in handling bow and arrows. The Bible talked about some of them. The scripture said one of them fought with the sword until his sword cleaved to the palms of his hands. Such that he didn't need to hold the sword. It's the sword that was holding him. He was only doing like this and the sword was obeying. Because he slaughtered human being until his palm plastered with the sword. The Bible says one in the time of slow slew a lion with bare hand. Such we are the mighty men of David. With all that David did for them. In 1 Samuel chapter number 30. And verse from verse 19. The scripture said, and the men of David thought to have, sorry, verse, verse 8, verse 8. And the men of David thought to have slain David. Get back to the next one, verse 7, verse 7, verse 7. And they thought to have stoned David. Go back, go back to verse 6, give me that verse. 5, let's get verse 5. Let's see verse 5. Thank you, verse 5. And David was greatly distressed for the people spake of stoning him because the soul of all the people were grieved every man for his sons and for his daughter. But David encouraged himself in the Lord his God. With all that David did for this man, they thought of killing him. Man does not have what it takes to promote you except the Lord build a city, the labor in vain that build it. 
Except the Lord watches over the city, man that watches, watches in vain. Can I tell you some facts about man? I want you not to depend on man because the Bible says, Woe is he that trusts a man? He shall be like the heat that is in the desert and shall not see when good cometh. For he shall habit the past places of the earth. And so when you begin to trust man, you won't go far. That's Jeremiah 17 and verse 5. You will never go far in your work with God. One of the things man does is man can, man can forget. Man can forget. Can forget the good you've done for them. Man can change his mind. They make up their mind to help you. They can change their mind tomorrow not to help you. Man has capacity to change his mind. Man also sir, can fail to deliver. They can give you promises and promises and promises and they can fail to deliver. Can I talk to you sir? Man can disappoint. Man can betray. Is somebody hear what I'm saying here? Man can deceive and man can lie. Any mortal man is subscribable to lying. Numbers chapter 23 verse 19. He said, God is not a man that he should lie. That means lie is connected to man. God is not man that he should lie. Neither the son of man that he should repent. So God does not change his mind when he proposed to bless you. I have a good news for you. God have decided to remember you this month. Amen. I don't like your amen. I say it has. He has chosen to remember you this month. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. So God's remembrance does not connote his forgetfulness. No sir. God's remembrance actually is the activation of your set time. Somebody shout set time. set time. When we say God remember Rachel. God remember Anna. God remember Sarah. We are not saying that God forgot them. But we are saying that God activated their due season. Activated their set time. The Bible says for the set time to favor Zion has finally come. So when we talk about the remembrance of God, we are talking about the acknowledgement of divine timing. The acknowledgement of divine timing. I prophesy to somebody here. Your time to be lifted. Your time to be announced. Amen. Your time to marry. Amen. Your time to be modificated. Amen. Your time to see your glory. Amen. Has finally arrived. Amen. I came by prophetic grace tonight. Yes, to shift you. Amen. Heaven has remembered you. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. So it is the acknowledgement of your divine timing. My friend. They are the indicators of your appearance appointed seasons since when god remembers you they are the indicators of your divine seasons job chapter 14 and verse number 13 he said if a man dies shall he live again if a man dies but before then he say oh that you would have hide me in the grave that you would have kept me in secret until the robe be passed that thou would have appoint me a set time and remember me appoint me a set time and remember me hear me the most dangerous man on earth is the man whose time has come i came to announce to somebody here god will remember you this season he will remember you this season amen. your set time has finally come amen. let me hear somebody shout that amen like a thunder amen so the act of god's remembrance is within the confine of a set time the act of god's remembrance the actions that god takes when he remembers you they are within the confine of a set time can I talk to somebody here? So set time is when God make good his covenant towards your life. When God make good his covenant on your life. I declare I the covenant of prosperity. Yes, the sir. covenant of uh, breakthroughs. Yes, the covenant of longevity. Yes, God will make it really your life. Amen. He will make it really your life. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Somebody shout my set time is here. My set time is so here. set time is when God opens a window of specific opportunity for you to receive answer for your expectations he opened a window of specific opportunity and give you answers to your expectations anytime divine remembrance is activated sir your desire becomes his commitment your desire becomes his commitment your thinking becomes his answer can i talk to somebody here even what you didn't pray for he will do it for you can I pray for somebody here? Enter your season of remembrance. Amen. Enter your season of remembrance. Amen. 
by this season of remembrance, may God make you an object of his commitment. Amen. May God make you this week an object of his commitment. Amen. Suddenly help us we remember you. Amen. Suddenly systems will be activated. Amen. Laws will be set in motion. Amen. You become the focus of the invisible. Amen. The hand of the Lord shall come upon you. Yes, sir. His satellite will zero on you. Amen. From today I declare I receive what others die to get. Kalada. That thing will come to your hand. Amen. How did you got it, my son? Why did you got it on time? He said, your God brought it to me. I prophesy. What others are looking for in the bush, may my God bring it to you. I said, my God shall bring it to you. I said, my God shall bring it to you. In the mighty name of Jesus. First Samuel chapter 1 and verse 19. First Samuel 1, 19 to 21. First Samuel 19, flash it for me. And they arose early. They arose in the morning early. God, this is the early of December. Kale Talaba. And worship before the Lord. You have come to worship today early. All of you are in this service this first day. The early morning of December. The Bible says, And they returned and came to the house of Ramah. And Elkanah knew his wife. And the Lord remembered her. I declare, I as many of you that came here early, yes, the early of the month, yes, early, the first day of the month is early of the month. Oh, yes. I decree with my I eyes open, it, the Lord shall remember you. Amen. The Lord shall remember you. Amen. I activate your set time. Amen. I activate your two season. Amen. I declare, you will own cars you didn't buy. Amen. You will eat fruit from trees you didn't plant. Amen. You will live in houses you did not build. Amen. I declare in the name of Jesus, Amen. your due time, your due season yes, has finally come. Amen. Has finally come. Amen. Has finally come. Amen. God will remember you. Amen. Before this year is over, yes, sir. you shall be remembered. Amen. You shall be remembered. Amen. Many of you enter this year with dreams. You enter this year with visions. Hey. You enter this year with desires. Yes, you enter this year with expectation. Oh, yes. And this is the 12th month. Hallelujah. You are asking God, where is the manifestation Hallelujah. of my dreams? The manifestation of my expectation? Hallelujah. The fulfillment of oh. my desire? I prophesy to you. Hallelujah. When God remembers you, Hallelujah. dreams are fulfilled. Hallelujah. Purpose are accomplished. Hallelujah. Visions are fulfilled Amen. in the name of Jesus. Amen. I activate your divine seasons. I activate your divine seasons. When God does not remember you, hey. it will appear as if your enemies are stronger than you. When God does not remember you, hey. your problem will appear as if it's Alpha and Omega. Ha. But when God remember you, the Egyptian you saw today, Hallelujah. you will see them again no more. Hallelujah. I activate the remembrance of God. Amen. I activate the remembrance of God. Amen. Somebody say, Lord, Lord, remember me. Remember me. Tonight. Tonight. Hallelujah. What happens when God remembers you? Number one, you recover all. You do what? I recover all. Tell you, do like this. Say all. All. I prophesy. I receive it. In your health. Amen. In your marriage. Amen. In your finance. Amen. In your business. Amen. Whatever it is that is missing and lacking. Hey. Recover now. I recover, all. Amen. recover now. Amen. Recover now. Amen. First Samuel chapter 30 and verse 8. First Samuel 30, verse 8. Turn with me to that scripture very fast. Verse 8. And David inquired of the Lord, saying, Shall I pursue after this troop? Shall I overtake them? And the answer, pursue. For thou shalt overtake them. And without fail, recover all. Verse 18, recover all. Verse 18, verse 18. And David recovered few. Some. All. A little. All. all. That the Amalekite had carried away. And David rescued his two wives. Stretch your hand towards this altar. Hey. Anything Satan took from you. Hallelujah. Is it your joy? Is it your health? You will not enter the new year broken. 
Amen. You will not end this year harassed. Amen. You will not end this year tormented. Amen. You will not end this year brutalized. Amen. Whatever we make God to complete his glory in your life. Ah. By the hand of Jehovah tonight. Yes, sir. I activate that power. Now. Ah. Now. Amen. Now. Amen. Lift your hands and say, I recover all. I recover all. Shout it louder. I recover all. Take your seat. To recover all, what does it mean? Number one. It means to take back something that has been lost. To take back something that has been lost or missing as a result of enemical attack. To take back something that has been lost or something that is missing as a result of enemical attack. He said, He said, A man sowed seed and he went and slept in the night. His enemy came and sold us. In the morning, what he bargained was not what he was seeing. And Jesus concludes, say, an enemy has done this. Stretch your hand towards this. Any missing thing in your life that is traceable to an enemy, today we chain the enemy. When a thief is caught, he is compelled to restore. Yes. To restore. Yes. To restore. Amen. To restore. Amen. I compel recovery. Amen. Whatever is missing shall be recovered. Amen. Your car shall be recovered. Amen. My eye just opened. I see three missing brothers. Ah. They shall be recovered. Amen. This December they are coming for Christmas. Amen. I don't know where they have gone. Amen. I don't know how many years they have been missing Amen. in that family. They are recovered. They are recovered. They are recovered. Amen. Are recovered. Amen. Whoever sat on your money and is sleeping. Ah. Keleba Gasa. Receive divine slaps. Amen. Receive divine slaps. Amen. Receive divine slaps. Amen. Did you hear what Mrs. Maxwell said? Uh. He said, the man who sat on her money said, tell your pastor to leave me alone. Oh. Why? Because I was slapping him in the dream. I declare in the name of Jesus. Yes, sir. So he decided to pay her her money. Hey. Anybody, wherever they are, it doesn't matter how long they took your money. They are bringing it. 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 In the mighty name of Jesus. Lift your hands and say, I take it back. Whatever is missing in my life. Whatever is lacking in my life. I take it back. I take that thing back. I take it back. You know then. You know it by name. Call it. I take it back. You see your money. You see your life. Collect it back. Who took your life? Who's your relationship? Took your life. Collect it back. Take it back. Recover it. Recover it. Recover it. Recover it. I take it back. In Jesus' name. Amen. Take a seat. What does it mean to recover all? It means to repossess what has been dispossessed mm. by the invasion of an enemy. To repossess what has been dispossessed by the invasion of an enemy. Anything that used to be your own. It could be your relationship. It could be your man. It could be your husband. Some of you are watching me by the way of Facebook and YouTube. Right now, as you hear the sound of my voice, whatever was your possession that you were dispossessed from, today, take it back. Take it back. Take it back. In the name of Jesus. Number three, to recover all is to recapture, to recollect, to reclaim, to retake. To regain and to retrieve. Some say recapture. Recapture. Say recollect. Recollect. Say reclaim. Reclaim. Say retake. Retake. Say regain. Regain. Say retrieve. Retrieve. Every goods and property. Every, every mandate. Every, every vision. Every, every virtue. Every, every glory. Every Every mantle, every, mantle, every potential, every potential that, has that has been snatched by antagonisms, antagonism, by obstacles, antagonism, by oppositions, opposition, by enemical molestations. molestations. Que la oh, 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 en grando se palata. I reclaim it back. Amen. Your land, I reclaim it. Amen. Your property, I reclaim it. Amen. I take it back. 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 Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. 
Recover all is the epic center of the gospel. Recover all is the epic center of the gospel. The entire gospel is about re. Re. Hallelujah. Re. The most powerful phrase in scripture is re. Re. God came to re. Everything you are looking for, he's not going to do it. He has done it. He has done it, sir. You are to re. Recover. Yes, sir. Restorate. Uh, 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 resurrect. Yes, sir. Reclaim. Yes, sir. Restore. Repent. Hmm. Redeem. Hey. Re. Hallelujah. Recreate. Revive. Retrieve. Huh? Regain. Re, 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 give me more. Repossess. Replenish. Renovate. Reinvigorate. Repair. Raqua twa twa. The epic center of the gospel is re. 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 Considering the monumental loss of Adam in the garden, everything about our redemption is connected to re. Re. So when God remember you, you recover. I hear you, so sir. anytime there is a re, it is a, you have entered the center of the gospel. That is what redemption came to do. Everything about the gospel is real. Die. So the power of the gospel is recovery. Recovery. The recovery of our inheritance. Romans 1 16. I am not ashamed of the gospel. For it is the power of God unto salvation. Salvation unto soteria. Unto deliverance, unto healing, unto protections. To everyone that believeth, to the Jews first, and also to the Greek. Sir, recovery is our heritage. When God remember you, you recover. Mm. I prophesy. I receive it, sir. Whatever it is, you are taking it back in the name of Jesus. Amen. Recover all number four. Is to get better in every ramification. And dimension of life. Considering the efficacious blood of Jesus. Enforcing the reality of your manifestation by your internal speakings. Hear me. Recover us to get better in every ramification and dimensions of life. Considering the efficacious blood of Jesus. Enforcing that reality by our internal speakings. Hebrew chapter 12 verse 24. We have come to meet the mediator. We have come to the blood of the sprinkling. That speaketh more better things than the blood of Abel. So the blood of Jesus speaks recovery. It speaks retaking. Reclaiming. Recollection. Everything you have lost shall be recovered tonight. In the name of Jesus. The blood speaketh. He speaks restoration. He speaks revival. And can I shock you, sir? Number four, five, recover all is the maximization and the optimization of the availability of, of internal substances for physical advantages. Recover all is the maximization and the optimizations. Of the availability of internal substances for physical advantage. Sir, if we don't manifest our internal life, we will never have advantage on this physical realm and so our recovery will not be possible. Because you see, when we take advantage of our internal life, we function from that realm and we superimpose that realm on physical activities. So we breach time even when those who have gone ahead of us are already ahead, when the forces of eternity rest on our bodies, 
we gain speed. We are the arriving. We arrive before them. Because in eternity, there can be arrival without journey and attainment without steps. He said to Ahab, set to your ass, go, for I hear the sound of abundance of rain. And he took off his chariots from Kefi to Abuja. From Kefi, his farm, to Abuja. He started racing. He started racing. Elijah waited for him to reach Marabah. Then Elijah started the journey of eternity. By the speed of the supernatural. Can I talk to you, sir? Before he could get to Nyanya, Elijah has already told him bye-bye. On foot, overtook him, the man on chariots. How can you explain that? It is the amplification of the supernatural. The maximization of your internal resources. It is the optimization of the availability of internal substance. So that you can superimpose it on natural things. And gain advantage over natural men. For the carnal man cannot understand the things of the spirit. No man doeth this work except God be with him. And Jesus said except a man be born again. You can produce some dimension of result. Until you are born of the water and of the spirit because from that frequency and from that realm you can achieve things that natural man can achieve hey it's a new day for you may you arrive that dimension right now that is a dimension of recovery where you recover your spiritual state you recover your momentum in the spirit you recover the supernaturality in your nature i declare that will be your portion in the name of jesus so to recover all number six is to be a total reflection of physically, spiritually, mentally, of all of all that God offers by his death and resurrection. I repeat, to recover all is to be a total reflection, physically, spiritually, mentally, of all that God has offered by his death and resurrection. Everything God offers by his death and resurrection, you receive them, you actualize them mentally, physically, spiritually, in all ramification of your existence. First Peter 2 9, we are a royal priesthood, a holy nation, a peculiar people, a people called out of darkness to show forth the what? The glorious light. Hear me and hear me well. There is a light that shines on our path once we activate all that Jesus did on his dead burial and resurrection. Anytime you maximize that dimension and reflect it physically, reflect it mentally, reflect it spiritually, my friend, you are recovering all because there is what they call the state of the fallen man. And the state of the fallen man was recovered by his death and resurrection so your value was enhanced your spiritual status was catapulted to an enviable height so after today i declare you not only recover in times of money you not only recover in times of property but you will recover in buoyancy of spirituality in the depths of the knowledge of god in swimming in the mysteries of god lift up your hands say i recover in that realm also shouting louder one more time. So recover all, sir, is the manifestation of God's intention, vision, and mission in your life until you become a living testimony among men. It is a manifestation of what? Of God's intention, vision, and mission for your life until you become what? A living testimony among mortal men. The other day, Jeremiah 29 verse 10, they said, we are battered. We are shattered. We don't know what hope we have anymore. Nothing is working for us. Are you in Jeremiah 29? Media be fast. And verse number 10. And they began to complain how life was bad for them. Can I have it please? Verse 10 of Jeremiah 29. Media. Verse 10 of Jeremiah 29. When I'm serious, you don't get serious. I don't know why. For thus says the Lord that after 70 years, we accomplished below. Okay. Get back to verse 9, verse 8, verse 9. Let's look at something there. Verse 8 and verse 9. <laughs> Come to verse 9. There's something I'm looking for. For they prophesy falsely unto you in my name. I have not sent them, says the Lord. Verse 10. Now let's begin there. 
Thus says the Lord that after 70 years be accomplished at Babylon, I will visit you and perform my good word towards you in causing you to return to this place. Verse 11. For I know the thought that I think towards you, says the Lord of hosts. They are thought of peace and not of evil to give you the end you expect. To give you an expected end. Now, if you look at earlier verse of Jeremiah chapter 29, you will see that the people were complaining that God has abandoned them. God has frustrated them. Nothing is working. The prophets are giving them false hope and every other thing. What will become of their future? And God began to speak and said, I know the thought that I think towards you. Now, whenever you fulfill that thought, you fulfill that intention, you fulfill that vision, you fulfill that expectation of God for your life, that is recover all. I prophesy, you will fulfill God's intention in the name of Jesus. So recover all, sir, is when your human activity is overwhelmed by the impartation of divinity. When your human activity is overwhelmed by the impartation of what? Of divinity enhancing your prosperity. Third John 1, 2, I wish above all things that thou mightest prosper and be in good health, even as your soul prosper it. So when you prosper and you are in good health, that is recovered all. That is what? Recovered all. So to recover all sir, is the reality of heaven becomes evident in your earthly realm. The reality of heaven becoming evident in your earthly realms. In your dominion over demons. In your authority over unclean spirit. So when you become distinguished among men, you become outstanding among your equals. That is recover all. Today, wherever you are under the sound of my voice, because God has remembered you, whatever the devil took from you, by omission, by commission, knowingly, unknowingly, consciously, unconsciously, whatever is missing and is lacking in your life, today, take it back in the name of Jesus. Take it back in the name of Jesus. Lift up your hands, sir. I recover all three times. I recover all. One. I recover all. Two. I recover all. Again. I recover all. That will be your portions. Amen. That will be your loss. Amen. That will be your inheritance. Amen. Somebody shout, I recover all. I recover all. What happens when God remember you, number two? <laughs> you finish well. When God remember you, the journey. I will never, never end my journey halfway. Oh, until I reach. You remember the song? I will never, never end my journey halfway. When God remember you, the purpose for why you embark on a journey, you will realize it. You enter marriage not to be barren. That was not. You didn't finish well. If you enter marriage and you are barren. If you graduate and you can't get a job, you didn't finish well. Because you graduate to, to secure a job. What was the purpose of going to school? It's so that you can be useful to yourself. Your certificate can be, can be useful to you. So anything that does not allow you to finish well is an attack. It's an indictment on God that, serve, that you serve. So when God remembers you, sir, you finish well. You end things well. Everything goes well. Second Chronicles chapter 7 and verse 11. Hear me and hear me well. It doesn't matter what you started this year. You will finish it. Amen. Thou Solomon finished the house of the Lord and the king's house. And all that came into his heart to make in the house of the Lord and his own house. He prosperously effected it. He prosperously did what? Effected it. He gargantuanly effected it. He, 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 he mamakiously effected it. I mean, he effected it prosperously. Not managing. Not wangling his life. Not, not meandering. Not, 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 not accomplishing it as an escapist. No. He accomplished it in prosperity. That means with buoyancy and with abundance. He finished the house of God. Finished what God put in his mind. Whatever was in your mind, you will finish it. Amen. That amen is not good enough. You will finish it. Amen. Lift up your hand and say, In the name of Jesus, name of Jesus that, which I plan to accomplish, that which I plan to accomplish, I will finish it. I will finish There's it. somebody here who is building, and you are, you are wondering if you will carry it to next year. I hear the voice of the Lord spoke to my right ear. No carryover. Amen. I did hear you. He said, No carryover. Amen. 
precisely in 48 hours, money is coming to you like rain. Amen. I don't know who I'm talking to, but money is coming to you as rain. Amen. Lift up your hand, shout, I will finish well. I will finish well. To finish well means to arrive at destination. Yes, sir. I prophesy. I wherever is your destination, you yes, will reach there. Amen. To finish well, sir, is to, to, to reach your expected conclusion. To reach what? Your expected conclusion. I prophesy. I that conclusion you have. Yes. That conclusion you expect. You do deals that you don't conclude. I decree in the name of Jesus. The anointing <laughs> to reach your expected conclusion. Today is falling upon you in the name of Jesus. Amen. To finish well means to end on a good note. To end on a good oh, note. When the ovation is loud, when the clapping is high, I declare in the name of Jesus, you will finish anyhow, anyhow, you finish well. Amen. So finishing well, sir, is reaching desired product mm. of a passionate process. Is reaching a desired product of a passionate process. You went through a process passionately to to for a product the product could be money the product could be house the product could be husband the product could be car the product could be a child the product could be a, a, a visa whatever sir reaching that product after a passionate process that is what i call finishing well you will finish well in the name of jesus Amen. you will finish well in the name of jesus Amen. somebody shout i will finish well I will I can't hear you. I will finish well. I can't hear you. I will finish well. So finish well is manifestation of conception. Manifestation of conception. I for a woman that give back to a child, my friend, she has finished well. She have finished well is manifestation after conception. Finish well is what? Manifestation after conception. I declare with my hands lifted. Leko Sata. That dream you have conceived. Yes. That desire you have conceived. Yes. That expectation you have conceived. Nikala Bashita. Enter that manifestation. Amen. This is not a teaching service. Amen. I am not a Sunday school teacher. Amen. I am not a spiritual youth copper. Amen. I came as a prophet yes, to prophesy, prophesy in the valley of dry bones. And I'm going to continue to yes, prophesy yes, one sir. by one on Sunday. Oh, yes, but today sir. I'm giving you a general prophecy. Uh -huh. I declare I that it. conception. Yes, sir. Manifest it. Amen. Manifest it. Amen. Courage. Amen. Courage. Amen. Courage. Amen. Even Jesus finish ah. well. John chapter 17 verse 4. Jesus, finish well. You will finish you. Amen. Anything As you hit your hand on this altar at the end of this service. Hey. Not now, not now. I decree you will finish well. Amen. Hear what he said. I have glorified thee on the earth. Yes. I have finished the work which thou gavest me to do. I have what? Finish the work which thou gavest me to do. Open your hand. Anything this hand has started, hey! anything this hand has this planned, hand has anything this hand wished to accomplish, Legabazada. Can't you speak some tongues and activate? Activate grace. Activate grace. Activate grace. Activate grace. Activate grace. Activate grace. I will finish. 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 In Jesus' name. Amen. Finishing well is practical destination of a mental vision. Finish well is what? Practical what? Practical destination of a mental vision. You have a mental vision of where you want to reach. When you reach there practically, not mm. theoretically, Hallelujah. evidentially, tangibly, that is finished well. Can I talk to you, sir? To the me. devil is not afraid of your beginning. Hey. Your beginning does not move Satan. He cares how you finish a thing. 
There are powers that don't fight you at the beginning of anything. That's right, sir. They wait for you at the end. Yes, sir. Because they know that the result is not called at the beginning. Oh, oh. The result is called at the end. Uh -huh. So they want to temper with the result of this year. They call Tabalata Satan. So that when they are reading the results, he started the year he failed. House in no fee build. Husband in no fee marry. Car in no fee buy. Hey, yeah, yeah. Even if it takes seven days to the end of the year, as they read the results, you will finish well. You will finish well. You will finish well. If, if a man is heavy your mouth, you better command your mouth to talk. Prophetic service. We agree with what they say. Today and Sunday is a prophetic service. Oh, yes, sir. Some of you, as you are shouting at me, you will literally enter your manifestation. Amen. You will literally yes, enter your yes, manifestation. Amen. You will literally yes, enter your breakthroughs. Amen. A hand will carry Amen. you practically into destination. Into destination. Any power waiting for you at the finish line. Any power waiting for you at the end of this year to disqualify you, to stop your joy, to hinder your progress. Powers at the finish line. What are you waiting for? Catch fire. 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 Have we finished well? The results shall be read. Have we finished well? The results shall be read. Have we finished well? Powers at the finish line. Are you still looking at me? Are you still looking at me? Rose that power. Any power waiting for me at the end of this year at the finish line to harass me. Die by fire. Rose by fire. Catch fire. Powers at my finish end. Powers waiting for me at the finish line. You are a liar. What are you waiting for? Catch fire. 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 Rapa. 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 I will finish well. I will finish well. Somebody pray. 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 In Jesus' name. Amen. Throw your hands towards me. Any power, power making you to go round without reaching destination, making you to start but without finishing, rose by fire. 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 Any power waiting for you on this side of payment. On the side of payment. There are powers that don't fight you. Where you get the job, yes. it does not fight you. When you execute the job, they fight you. When it's time for payment, when it's time for payment, sir, 
it was time for payment for Reuben. That was the day the devil showed up. The devil did not show up and remind Reuben of his mistake until the day of payment. When he appeared before the father, it was supposed to finish well. The father said, that was the beginning of my mind. The excellence of dignity and the excellence of honor. The unstable as water. You will not excel. The father cursed him. The father limited him on the day of payment. The day of your salary. Your salary of goodwill. Your salary of effort. Your salary of marital input. Relationship input. Any power that wants to harass you. On the day of your payment. Holy Ghost fire. Clap your hand and roast that power. Roast that power. Rosa power 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 Amen. Give me two minutes. Give me two minutes. Sit down. Finish it well. Justifies every investment of effort. Finish it well does what? Justify every investment of effort. It gives credence to impute. It gives credence to your impute as productive. It makes your impute productive. Can I talk to you, sir? Finishing well is superior to finishing strong. In our daily devotion, I wrote on finishing strong. But can I shock you, sir? Finishing well is superior to finishing strong. You can finish strong and not finish well. Okay. On that day, they will say, we cast out devils in your name. We heal the sick in your name. My friend, they finish strong. But I will say unto them, depart from me. You workers of iniquity. I know you not. Because your name. They finish strong by casting out devils. They finish strong by good preaching. They finish strong by healing the sick. But they didn't finish well. So you can finish strong and not finish well. To finish well, you must finish according to the pattern designed for your life. You don't run the race on your own. You run the race by his own pattern. He's the one that decides who finishes well and there are criteria. There are rules for football. You carry football in your hand and went and put it in the goalpost and shout a goal. You're your own. Yes, sir. That is charismatic affliction for you. As fast it is if you feel like use it and punch the goalkeeper nose with the ball you may be strong but you didn't finish well That's right, sir. because you did not play according to the rules so you must know how to finish well so people finish strong by cheating people they bought the car they finish strong but it's a car of compromise they didn't finish well Sir, what does it take to finish well? You must live a life that exists higher than your circumstances. To finish well, you must live a life that exists higher than your circumstances. What does that mean, sir? It means live a life that is not controlled by your condition. If I feel good, I come to church. If I don't feel good, I don't come. If I feel sick, I don't come. The day I feel okay, I come. What shall separate us from the love that is in Christ Jesus? Is it nakedness? Is it hunger? Is it peril? Is it discouragement? Is it even death? Is it nehi? In all of this, we are more than conquerors. 
The day my mom died, I was preaching. And they sent me a note. She was in the hospital dying. They sent me a note preaching on a Wednesday. And I read, please stop the preaching. Mommy has just passed on, just died. I continued the preaching. I finished and that day I prophesied. When I finish, I say, let us go to the hospital. The reason is because all of these things will be tested. That's right, sir. You must live a life that is higher than your circumstances. I hear you, sir. A life that is not controlled by circumstances. Love Jesus beyond circumstances. Number two, you must live a life that is stretched beyond yourself. You must be useful to God's kingdom. Live a life that is stretched beyond yourself. You will finish well. He that loves his life will lose it. But he that gain it, hate it, shall gain it. I hear you, sir. If any man must follow me, must hate himself and deny himself and pick up his cross. You must give up self to a higher, to a purpose higher than yourself. Give up yourself to a purpose higher than you. You must live a life that goes extra mile in effort to honor God. You must go extra mile. So the things we did on Sunday, some of you think we are very rich. Some of you didn't know that it's some investment monies that are kept for certain things. But if the Lord spoke, no money means anything. Let lives be touched. Sir, any life focusing on self will be a frustrating life. Always learn to focus on him. When you do that, you will live well. You will end well. I prophesy. I None of you will lose your salvation. Amen. Your amen is not good enough. None of you will lose your salvation. Amen. Kai, I pray for somebody. I receive it. So much how I want to say, but there's no time. So, how do I now activate divine remembrance? Since divine remembrance assists me to recover all, divine remembrance helps me to finish well. How do I activate divine remembrance? One word and I'm done. Gratitude. I hear you, sir. Gratitude activates divine remembrance. Numbers 10 and verse 9. Gratitude. The place of gratitude is a spiritual walk with God that activates remembrance. And that remembrance but tangible manifestation that cannot be overemphasized. The Bible said, And if you go to war in your land against the enemy that oppressed you, then you shall blow an alarm with a trumpet. That is celebration. That is gratitude. You are doing war. The Lord says, sing. Blow alarm with the trumpet. And you shall be remembered before the Lord your God. And you shall be saved. From what? From your enemies. You shall be remembered before the Lord your God. When you blast the trumpet of gratitude. The trumpet of praise. The trumpet of festivity. The trumpet of celebration. My friend, learn to be grateful in every condition. That is one of the ways to activate his remembrance. The Lord said you'll be saved from your enemies. You'll be delivered from your enemies. Gratitude, sir. Facilitate the process that makes our desire product a reality. It facilitates the process that makes our desire product a reality. For some of us, our desire product is visa. Our desire product is husband. Whatever is your desire product, it becomes a reality where there is gratitude. Without the attitude of gratitude, sir, Sir, hear me. Expectations are frustrated. Without the attitude of gratitude, prayers lacks answers. Without the attitude of gratitude, sir, visions are delayed. Supernatural interventions are suspended where there is no gratitude. Is somebody hear what I'm saying here? Transitions are endless when it has to without desired destination transitions transitions whatever passage you are going through whatever passage you are going through here it becomes endless your journey to the promised land become endless without gratitude is somebody hearing what i'm saying yes, israel left egypt in excitement but died in the wilderness without achievement not because of a personality devil not because of asmodi ashtelon or bezebub not because of the gods of the canaanite or the parasite or the hittite they could not enter because of ingratitude ingratitude in psalm 78 and verse number nine psalm verse 19 the one of the signs of their ingratitude was that can god furnish for us a table in the wilderness psalm 78 and verse 19 78 and verse 19 can god yet they speak against god they say can god furnish a table in the wilderness 
Can God give us food? Can God bless us? What will I even get? The end of the year don't end. Waiting again. Waiting again. God, in fact, at the vex. We are caught in the trap of ingratitude. You hear me now? There's nothing, there's no, there's no time we receive heaviness, spirit of heaviness, garment of ingratitude like December. December, as we approach December, uh, the reality of our battles becomes real. The reality of our battles begins to stare at us. The reality of the things that are not answered begin to stare at us, stare at our faces. The things we expect God to do that are not done, the enemy begins to use them to mock us. But can I talk to you, sir? You may not have done everything, but he has still has done something. You may not like where you are, but at least you are not where you used to be. Yes, sir. Am I talking to somebody here? Yes, something has shifted in your life. If you can give him praise, you say you are not a graduate. Huh? There are people who didn't go to primary school, yet they are grateful. You say you are a graduate, no job. Huh? There are people who can't graduate. Huh? You are talking about job. So whatever condition you find yourself, that is somebody's prayer request. Ah. Stand on your feet. Ooh. Hallelujah. Any situation you find yourself, somebody is praying to be like you. Pastor, you say your church is not growing. Have you seen a pastor with five members? Aye. Five members. Yes, sir. A pastor said, I don't know what I did to God. I only have 70 members. I asked him, which one did you bring? 70. And you are ungrateful. Aye. 70. 70. And you are ungrateful. There are people languishing with 10 members with Greek and Hebrew. In their mouth. See myself. I don't know. There are Wawa people in the village. Thank God you are even in Abuja. <laughs> in Abuja. Lift up your hands and say, Lord, I'm grateful. Lord, I'm grateful. As you begin to give him thanks. Yes, sir. He sh you shall be remembered. Amen. Open your mouth and activate gratitude from your heart. Thank him. 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 Appreciate him. I remember the place where you brought me from. Lord, I thank you for where I am today. I see you doing and you walk in my life. Lord, I thank you for the future I see. Lord, I thank you. Lord, I thank you for the future I see. Oh, 